morning students in this video we are we are going to prove that uh, product of regular spaces is regular product of regular spaces is regular that is given a collection of uh, regular spaces okay given a collection of regular spaces say x alpha where alpha varies over index at j collection of x alpha each one is a regular space each x alpha is a regular space then the product x alpha equipped with the product of part of g is also a, a regular space is also a, a regular space so recall the definition of a regular space the space is a regular if every single point set is closed in that space and then given a point x and a closed set not contained the point Okay, these two can be separated by means of disjoint open sets. First, we shall prove that every uh, singleton set is closed in X. For that, okay, we earlier uh, discussed, we have discussed that, okay, if you are having a uh, regular space, then automatically it is a positive space. Okay. Now look at that, each X alpha is a regular space and therefore it is a positive space. And therefore, each x alpha is passed on. Each x alpha is passed on space. And also, in the previous video, we have discussed that okay, if you are having a collection of alpha spaces, then their product is also passed on. Therefore, this is a passed on space. Product x alpha is a passed on space. And also in the same video, we have established the result, established the result that Hasa space implies a T1 space. This implies a T1 space. That means in X, every singleton set is closed. So that is the first criteria we need to prove that product X alpha is a regular space. Okay. So from this, that is every singleton set is closed. Every singleton set is closed. Okay, right. Now, to prove the second one, okay, to prove the second one, second condition that is given a point and a closer non containing point, those two can be separated by means of design open sets. So, we are going to use the a theorem which we have discussed in the maybe uh, previous videos. Okay, that is characterization for a T1 space to be a regular space. Okay, recall that uh, if you if you are having a T1 space, okay, uh, to prove it is a regular space, it is equivalent to prove that. Okay. X is regular if one only given a point x in x and a neighborhood ux of x okay, there is another neighborhood say v of x such that v closure is subset of ux v closure subset of ux we are going to prove this result okay instead of saying that uh, a point x and a closer not continuous can be separated by means of the joint process okay so start with the arbitrary point. Let uh, x is a point of the space x, and u is a neighborhood of x. The neighborhood of x. Okay. So here x is product x up. Product x up, and u is a neighborhood of and because the product space uh, is uh, the topology of the product space is given by the basis, okay. And we can find a neighborhood, a basis element. We can find a basis element. So there is a basis element. Say U X containing X.
such that okay, ux is subset of So ex is a basis element containing ex. Okay, that is it is our form product u r. Okay, we are except for finitely many indices. This u r phi is x r phi, and all other places u r phi is open in the respective x r phi. Okay, that's the definition of a single basis element. So we are x x r phi plus. So what is this nature of this set? So there are indices. There are indices. Say alpha one, alpha two, etc. Alpha k, such that okay, u alpha equal to x alpha for every alpha not equal to alpha i. A equal to one to k, and then u alpha i's are open in the respective x alpha i's. Okay, this is the nature of a single uh, basis basic open set in the product space. Now, x is a member of this set. Okay, therefore. Your x alpha i is member of u alpha i is. Okay, x alpha is a member of u alpha i is. What is this u alpha i is? The, these open sets are open in capital x alpha. In capital x alpha i is are basically regular spaces. Okay, and therefore each x alpha i is a Uh, has the space and has the space of this a T1 space. Therefore, each x alpha is a T1 space. That is, uh, we are going to apply the same characterization theorem for each x alpha i. That is, x alpha i is, is a space in which every single point, point set is closed, as well as it's a regular space. And therefore, okay, and therefore, uh, here for this neighborhood of this point, there is another neighborhood, say V alpha i, of the same point x alpha i. Such that v alpha i closure. So v alpha i closure is contained in u alpha. I. This is true for every i equal to one to etc. K. Summarize what we did. So that is for each i, i equal to one to etc. K. K. There are neighborhoods v alpha i. Which is open in the respective x alpha i, such that the element x alpha i belongs to v alpha i. Okay, and v alpha i closure contained in u alpha i. This is true for if we are equal to one to etc. K. Now for all other indices, you take v alpha is equal to x alpha. For all other indices, alpha not equal to alpha i. Then we are having a basic, another basic open set product V alpha, in which uh, x is a member, in which x is a member. Okay, product uh, V alpha contains this point x. Okay, such that. Okay, such that this product of V alpha closure. Okay, contains the product of You are why? This is obvious because look at the nature of these two sets. That is, uh, V alpha product V alpha and product U alpha, product U alpha and product U alpha. Except for these indices, both U alpha and V alpha were capital X alpha. Okay. Therefore, V alpha closure is your X alpha itself, and right hand side U alpha is also X alpha. There is no problem for all other indices. Except this one, ah, uh, one, two, three, etc. K. For those indices, one, two, three, etc. K. For example, you take this alpha i. Okay, v alpha i closure subset of v alpha. This is true for every i equal one to k. Therefore, this product set is subset of product v alpha i. 
and observe that in the uh, earlier classes we have shown that okay uh, when you are equipped with uh, um, the product space by uh, product topology or box topology this will equal the product of we are for whole portion okay this we have already discussed okay in, in our earlier classes so product we are for whole portion is subset of product of you are for you uh, are for product of you are for so summarize what you uh, you what you get for arbitrary point x and the neighborhood u of x okay so there is another neighborhood basic neighborhood which contains the point x whose closure is contained in this one so product u of x so we have chosen this basic open set product u of x which is contained in your given neighborhood u summarize what it is Uh, for a given point in the uh, set and a neighborhood U of X, there is another basic open set which contains the point whose closure is contained in U. Because we have chosen X and a neighborhood U as arbitrarily, okay, this is true for every X and U, okay, in that space. Which means that given a point and a given a neighborhood of that point, there is another neighborhood whose closure is contained in the given neighborhood, which proves. Because of the earlier result we have discussed, okay, which proves that the space is a regular space. Okay. That's all. Okay. We have proved that it's a complete because already we have discussed it is a T1 space. Now we prove that an equivalent condition for the space is to be a regular space. That's all. I hope you understand this uh, result. Thank you. Uh, as I mentioned uh, in the earlier video, uh, I will provide my um, email ID at the end. Okay, thank you.